All right, Sam, thank you so much for joining us talking about the 2020 NBA draft process. Uh, things a little bit different right now, and you are in an even more unique situation being overseas in Australia right now. What have things been like in terms of getting ready for the NBA draft or this, how basketball has been for you since the, the pandemic started? Yeah, um, it's been a little bit disrupted. A lot of my plans were thrown out the window that I had. Um, you know, I was, we finished NBL season last year and I was – ready to come over to the States and do my workouts and talk to the teams and stuff. And then, you know, travel got banned and everything kind of got chucked out the window in that regard. And so um, it's actually worked out quite well for me. I got to see all my family again in a long, which has been a long time since that's happened. Um, and then I've been able to take a lot of time to just individually work on my game um, and just do, you know, work on my shooting and my body and, you know, get all that stuff right. Um, and then I got to play a couple games a couple of weeks ago, just in like a, a smaller league down here. Um, mm -hmm. And so it was good to finally play a little bit. So your path is obviously a little bit different than other people's. You played one year at Creighton, then went back to Australia to play for the, hope I'm saying this right, Illawarra Hawks in the NBL as well as the NBL. Yeah. How would you compare those two experiences in terms of the, the play and how it benefited your career? Um, I think, College was an awesome learning experience for me. Um, you know, I, I've learned a whole lot and grew as a player and a person there. And then playing in the NBL was just, it was a whole other level on top of that. It's, you know, it's, you're playing against seasoned veterans, guys who have played for 12, 13 years. Um, so getting to, you know, go up against those guys every day of practice and then go up against those guys every day, uh, not every day, sorry, every weekend in games. Um, that stuff was pretty legit and I think it helped me grow a whole lot as a player and just become better and better for it. And you mentioned the NBL and how tough it is. It is a very physical league. Basketball in Australia as a whole national team is getting very, very good and, and getting into the top, you know, final four of the national competitions and things like that, or international competitions. How would you describe the basketball climate in Australia and how it is preparing guys to go play at other levels like the NBA right now? Um, it is, it's growing. It's massive now, but it is growing. Um, and it's grown every year since I've been growing up. I, when I was younger, basketball wasn't a huge sport in Australia. Now it is a, one of the biggest sports in Australia. Um, and, if, and it's showing like we're doing better and better at national competitions. We're getting more guys into the NBA. Um, and, you know, we're producing a lot better players and even, the NBL, like the local league, has improved immensely over the last couple of years. Um, so basketball in Australia is in a really, really good place right now, and I think it's just getting better. Illawarra notably had a lot of attention on this year with LaMelo Ball on the team. He did the program over there, and you played with him. What was that experience like? And having it seems like you guys had more eyes on your game. you think that's benefited you? And then what was it like playing with him? Um, obviously, it was a little bit of a different concept him you know, being a lot younger and coming over to the NBL at such a, you know, 18 years old. Yeah. Um, it was a lot. I think it was awesome for me because I'm headed into the same draft as him and I got a lot of eyes on me just from, mm -hmm. you know, them coming to see him. Um, so it was awesome for me. And it was awesome just because we got to, like, uh, find out what a good dude he was and how good of a player he is and how hard he works and, you know, how normally was when all you see is like the TV stuff, it's, it's hard to lose track of who he is as a person, but then, you know, you go and hang out with him and he's a completely normal person and he's a lot of fun to be around and he's a great dude. Um, yeah. So it was cool. You come from a huge basketball family. Your parents played professionally, your siblings play, you have an older brother that I think went through the NBA draft process a couple of years ago. How influential have they been on your basketball career? Um, huge. Um, I watched them all playing when I was growing up. Um, and I've really enjoyed, you know, I was always the younger brother, so I always got beat up on by the older siblings. Um, and, but it's been a lot of fun growing up with them and competing against them and watching them succeed. Um, I think, you know, as much as I want to succeed, I want to see them succeed even more than I do. Um, and watching them do that has been awesome. And serving back wrapping up with looking at this Hornets franchise, seven foot center yourself, looking, looking at the team, 
obviously played a lot of rookies, young guys, first year guys the last couple of years, kind of taking a developmental route. What do you know about the Charlotte Hornets team? How could you see yourself potentially fitting in with them? Um, I know, I've seen, a, I've watched a lot of film over the last couple of days. Mm -hmm. um, they love to play pretty fast pace. Out of, I mean, the whole NBA does, but pretty fast pace out of a lot of pick and roll stuff. I mean, I think I add a lot to that. Um, I think I add a bit of versatility. I can stretch the floor to the three-point line. Um, I can put the ball on the floor. And uh, I think I'm very good out of pick and roll, pick and pop situation. Um, and then on defense, you know, I'm a big, like a big presence. I can add a lot of interior size and intimidation. Um, so, yeah.